Good morning, Cowboy Jim, eh? Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. Hmm. Nice day out there today. Really is. Uh, I had the, the privilege yesterday, just, I, I mean, I, I just was astounded when I heard Joe Biden uh, comment on uh, what has um, been referred to as a new world order. And uh, and I thought, mm, boy, I bet people are going to be upset with him because he shouldn't be talking about that because I believe it's real. I really do. 25 years ago when I, I heard about a little group over in uh, Europe, uh, representatives of all the major uh, countries in the world, uh, high economic countries in the world, and they had uh, formulated a plan whereby uh, if everything went to hell, uh, oh, I forgot to use it in a, ha in a hand basket. Oh, geez, I missed it. I'm sorry. Oh, I like that saying. And, um, and, 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 and they had a plan. And their plan was uh, if the economy went in the toilet, if uh, the countries were bankrupted, if the people were indoctrinated to do whatever they were told to do by the leaders in the world, uh, and if, uh, if uh, religion kind of went in the toilet, uh, and uh, there was a one world church, shall we say, led by anti-Christ. Okay. Oh, 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 hot damn. That's a stretch, isn't it? No, it's not. So one world uh, government. And, and back then they uh, uh, put on paper. I haven't seen the paper. Jeez, I'm a trucker, rancher, not a very good rancher. Jeez, ranch is gone. Oh, it almost took my sense of humor. Oh, it took me a while to recover. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, I found it. The sense of humor. And um, now I'll overwork it as I always have because I don't know what is humorous and what isn't. And anyways, uh, I really paid attention to that back then. Joe Biden yesterday, he he said uh, in his uh, lack of lucidity, uh, cognitive, uh, not good, eh? not good. Oh, too much ice cream and uh, hard on the brain apparently. Chills it down too much, especially if the guy tries to feed it in through his ear. And he wouldn't know the difference. It's unfortunate. That's the insidious part of growing old. Do I look old? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, it's not, but what can you do about it? <laughs> not much. Anyways, uh, there was a guy whose name was Socrates. Uh, you may think that you possibly have read some of his writings. Well, you haven't. He didn't write anything down. Uh, but he had this innate ability uh, to predict when the next uh, war was going to take place. He premised it on this. If he looked around uh, and saw an aggressive country uh, removing the wealth of the people, and I mean really removing the wealth of the people uh, from their country and or uh, a nearby neighbor, uh, he ha had figured out a system whereby mm, within five uh, to eight years, uh, the people who had their wealth removed by the people who were incidentally already wealthy, or they couldn't have hired the armies to invade. Putin? Oh, well, who knows? And uh, anyway, I think the same premise uh, applies. Anyways, this is what, what happened. His notoriety, Socrates, notoriety, um, 400 years before Christ, 
Thankfully, I have a brother-in-law who is a retired preacher who keeps me informed because he is firmly convinced that I'm not informed. And, well, he's probably right, but nonetheless. So he gave me a historical rundown of Socrates. He said, Jim, do you, do you ever remember hearing anything about a guy called Socrates? And I thought... Gee whiz, of course. I read Western books, novels, a uh, whole series on them. And the, the writer uh, um, said and quoted Socrates. Well, he thought he was quoting Socrates, but Socrates, as I said, never wrote anything down. Everybody around him wrote down what he said because what he said came true. And so in the ability to predict, war, predict wars, um, he became quite famous. And the rich, the kings and such like that, back 400 years before Christ was born, uh, they loved him because he could actually predict when the next war would break out. Now, so he was popular because the people in power wanted to know, well, who do we get ready to fight next? And so he just floated around doing what he did, watching the countries like Putin, Xi Jinping, the United States of America, he wasn't watching these particular ones, but like these particular ones. And he could tell when the next major war was going to break out. And he did it quite well. Because we're still quoting him wrongly. But we are quoting what other people wrote down about what he said. So, indirectly, we're really quoting him. It's a good thing. Because, because, uh, my brother-in-law says, the next major war, according to Socrates' methodology of determining who's going to be the combatants in the next war, who are going to be the combatants in the next war. People uh, think that, as I do, and I do, that we're right now in the Third World War. I think we are. Um, the people in the Ukraine would definitely think we are. You have your children being killed, and you're holding them as they bleed out. I, I'm a bit sensitive about the idea of bleeding out. I, I one time was kicked by a mare, and she uh, ruptured my spleen. Oh, she really hurt me, too. Oh, my. Oh, ruined my sense of humor for quite a while. The surgeon said, you have half an hour to live. And then he saw where it was spewing out of my spleen. He said, no, you only have 15 minutes. I said to myself, well, get to work. But hey, here, we have the privilege of getting to work, processing thought, learning from history, watching women, children, being killed in the Ukraine. It's very interesting that uh, Putin uh, says that he is going to purge uh, the Ukrainian government of uh, drug users, uh, Nazis, Nazis. And I thought, that's ludicrous. A Nazi in in government. I don't mean Lewinsky. 
that little guy says uh, he is involved in a democracy. But in, in that democracy, and you have to understand, I truly uh, admire, love the uh, Ukrainian people and government, and I, I admire their guts. Um, those three ladies I mentioned the other day, uh, uh, Olena, uh, Ilya uh, Avdiva. These are names that I will never forget uh, about brave, uh, dedicated women who uh, stand in the face of adversity and accomplish something that is bigger than themselves. Not all those ladies will realize uh, the benefit that they have been to mankind. But if it's up to me, I'll make sure that they hear uh, one old Irishman who declares his dedication to them because of their dedication to their, their cause, plural. So, are there Nazis in uh, Ukraine, in the Ukrainian government? Well, apparently there are. Putin is uh, like Biden, Justin Trudeau. Oh, dear Lord God in heaven, I'm watching on the stupid TV. Uh, a liberal, he has a good beard, a uh, pink thing on his head. Uh, he's Indian um, from India, but he was raised, born in Canada. And he's a liberal. And the liberals have teamed up with uh, the NDP in order to avoid having an election before 2025. Oh, why is that? Because they'll never get bloody reelected. Not now. In our present political situation in Canada, they wouldn't have a hope in hell. Well, they don't have a hope in hell unless they change their ways. But the Democrats, uh, which are liberals down in the States, ever, ever get reelected if there were uh, an election held down in the States, even with the millions of people they have led over the border. I mean, Iranians, Iranians, and, and uh, terrorists, and people from Afghan and all over the world. A lot of people actually have flown from uh, the Ukraine, gotten into uh, Poland and flown down to Mexico and crossed the border because that's easier to get into the United States than it is to uh, go through the legal systems. And so a lot of Ukrainian people have entered the U.S. That's very good. I don't think they'll vote for the Democrats, but they got in under the Democratic methodology whereby if you want to come to America, there's only one thing you need to do, that is vote for the Democrats. But what if there isn't an election? Hey, uh, there was supposed to be an election here in Canada in the near future, and they just delayed it till 2025. My wonderful brother-in-law, who will go unnamed because you know, we're brother-in-laws, okay? And, uh, and, uh, he doesn't admit that very much. <laughs> Shoot, I don't blame him. If I had a brother-in-law like me, would I, uh, introduce him to my friends? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Not if I believe something different than what mm, I do. I don't believe something different. I just am that simple old Irish guy who says, no elections? Well, the powers that be will stay in power. Joe Biden, I hope he screws up really good over in, uh, in Europe. I hope he tells the Europeans by mistake that there is going to be a new world order like he did yesterday. Oh, I nearly fell off. I was on 
on my bed, watching television, just kind of relaxing in that. I'll boot her right off the bed because there is a new world order. It is in conjuncture, hand in hand, with the fulfillment of scripture. I believe in. Hey, I'm simple. I'm Irish. I can do that. So anyways. You are watching some interesting stuff. If you have the time to watch. Well, all I have is time. So I watch. Oh, I despise politicians. You have no idea. We wouldn't be going to war as often as we do if the politicians' children were on the front line. If the politicians were on the front line. I like Lewinsky. Olena, spelled with an O. Uh, Avdiva, what a name. Uh, Ilya, spelled with an E. I mean... What beautiful sounding names. Unbelievable, but, but, but very believable. Because those people stand up for something that is bigger and greater than themselves. And they do. I watched. Well, God bless you. Don't you despair because... Um, I do a video after I've done my job interviews, and we'll talk about hmm, the rapture, uh, how you book a ticket on that flight. It's a one-way flight out from Earth. It has nothing to do with your will choice, except you choose to believe in God and his Son. Um, ask for forgiveness. Humble yourself and pray. You've just finished booking your your flight it won't cost you anything except your sense of humor and the rest of your life living in a dedicated manner to not not religion not church but to the realization that whoa i think i think there there will be maybe a, a creator well there is in my opinion humble opinion shoot i'm irish could be wrong okay god bless God bless. Don't you despair. Oh, these are exciting times. Children, pray. While yet you're breathing, pray. <laughs>